Hello YouTube. Um, today we're going to go through making some brake pipes. Um, I've got two different machines here. There's various different ones on the market, um, but these are the only two I've got, so I'll go through these. These, these tend to be the most common ones. This is a more professional one. This is a cheap one. Um, we're going to start with this one because it's more likely what what most people are going to have. But I will do a quick video on on just how to use this one quickly. So with that. We'll start with this one here, and this one's made by Laser. It's uh, a 2943 10 piece flaring kit. Um, you've got a standard pipe cutter with, with, um, with a little thing in the end to, to clean your pipes up once you've cut them. Um, you've got your yoke, your flaring cone on, on the thread there. Uh, these always come pre wound in so they fit in the box. So we'll start off by unwinding that all the way out. Uh, you've got these various uh, sizes of punch or, or mandrels, whatever you want to call them. Um, this is the one that we're going to be needing, 3 16 for standard brake pipe. Um, and then you've obviously got the clamp here. Um, it has two sides to it, um, a flat side and uh, a side that's um, got some chamfers on it. This is a side where, where your flare is sitting. Um, you can identify it by it's got all the numbers for the size of pipes. Um, you've got an end that opens out, then this end is just on a small pivot on this side and just clamps up. Um, what we're going to do is, I haven't got any, any old braid pipe here, um, so I'm going to start, I'm going to make a, a very very quick pipe, small S, then what I'll do is I'll bring the camera in uh, and I'll do, do a close up of, of how I do the flare. So basically, I'm going to be talking through how to make the brake pipe twice with you. Um, we're going to start off by clamping the pipe into uh, the kit. It's a standard 316th brake pipe. So we'll clamp that in. All right, you start off with the end closest to the pipe because that way you've got more of a fulcrum. And the key thing with these machines, this type of machine, is you stick out you need 4 mil, nothing more, nothing less um, otherwise the flare won't, uh, it won't flare properly this is why it's important to make sure it's 4 mil as you can see in this picture you've got a perfect dome this one you can see it's 3 mil um, it, the, uh, the hole is not in the centre, the, the dome is not completely formed right this one was set at 5 mil, as you can see it's it's really really lopsided um, well off centre so yeah you have to make sure 4 mil at all times I haven't got a ruler here um, that, that's a flush all I've done is just got a bit of card and drawn um, uh, a, a quick line on it so I've got an idea of where I'm at and all you do is just literally get it there we are we're about bang on so as I said, you tighten up the one closest to the pipe first until it's completely closed up. And then you tighten the other one in. All right, it's the same lever principle thing. If you tighten up the furthest one away last, you've got more clamping pressure. So again, little mandrel in there. Um, you'll see it in a second on the close-up. It's got a little pin in the top. Your yoke just goes straight over the top unwind it so it goes over then what you want to do is hold it as square as you can just nip it into the top of your little your little mandrel or, or punch whatever you want to call them once you've got it square hold it up you see a lot of people they stick these in the vise you really don't need to it's copper pipe you know it doesn't take a lot to, to get them to go so just hold it between your thumb and your thing, fingers and you just just turn the handle it's as simple as that um, you'll feel how soft it is. Once you find a bit of resistance, that's it, you're done. Then you wind it back. Again, undo the furthest one away because it's just easier. More leverage, undo that one, pull your pipe back. Made one for that. At this point, you want to put your unions on. You only need to do one flare before you put the unions on. Make sure you put them the right way at all times because otherwise you can end up having to chop little bits off and you could end up scrapping your pipe. So again, 
gonna I'll clamp it in. Let's get it off here. to get into the habit of then once I've got it clamped just double check you've got the unions on just because it is so easy to forget or it's so easy for them to fall off while you're messing around again just put put your little uh, punch in the yoke goes back over the top and then it goes in and exactly the same process after it's squared up That's it. One break quite made. So there you go. So all I want to do, as I said, we want to put a bit of shape in it so we can we can go through the process of measuring and stuff. So all I'm gonna do is put a small less in it. I will go through um, a bit more about bending in a little while. But it, the principle is just run around your thumb. Quite like that. You don't want a tight curve, nice and relaxed. Because otherwise you'll kink the pipe. Turn on that side. And there we are. We have a nice simple little S that we can uh, we can follow. Right. As you can see, here's a little bit of brake pipe that we just made. Um, I haven't got any rusty stuff here, but that the process is going to be exactly the same as if you had a, a rusty piece or a fresh piece to, to remake your brake pipe. Uh, it always comes on a coil like this, so you start out, just unwind it. You know, make sure you do, un I'm talking pop it. Right, make sure you do uncoil it rather than pull it because what you'll end up doing is kinking it and, and stuffing it up. Right, so basically what you want to do is line it up at the end Give yourself just a little bit extra for your flare. Right, stop please. Right, give yourself just a little bit extra. And then you just run it through your fingers. Just like this. All the way through. Until you come to the end. And you need to go a little bit extra again. You always want to go more, not under. And it, it's quite an obvious reason for it, but I'll go through that in a little while. So all I do is I mark it with my thumb. And we come back. I'll get the cutter again. Exactly the same as before. Get in there. So just nip it up. Don't over tighten it because you will squash it. And then it doesn't really matter which way you go. But just every time, just a tiny little tweak hardly any resistance in it at all just keep going around until it eventually breaks through just like that so then just like before clean the ends so now get these so I don't know whether you see it properly earlier, but as I said, we've got an open end and then a, a done up end there. There's all your all your numbers, so three sixteenths again. This side first, because it clamps it up. Where's me? Oh, there it is. So it's says four millimeters. I've got it pretty much bang on. So Tighten down this side first until you see how it's closed. Now tighten in this side. So we focus that a little bit. To me. That's a bit better, isn't it? So then, little manually bit there.
and goes. See, so made sure it's all squared up. Just hold it between me, thumb and finger, and then just tighten it in until it tightens up. Just there. There you go. That's that's what you're looking for. A nice, clean mushroom. So again, undo this first. Undo this one. That should just pop straight off. And put ends on again. And the ends on again. Exactly the same. Yeah, once you've done this once or twice, it's as quick as this. So it goes on there. Tighten that one up. Tighten that one up. That's it. Right, now, if there are two different types of flares, I will uh, get more uh, close-up pictures later, but see that's like a normal dome. You can get um, a double flare where it's inside, it's like a little socket. The way you do that is just using the cone. So with, never ever take it out, put that back on, and then exactly the same, just line it up with your hole, you just, just tweak it, square it up again, and then as before, just wind it in until you find resistance, and that's it. Never ever go too far, because you'll distort it, and there you go, that's how you get your double flare. So, let's get this out quick. Now we've got a straight bit of pipe and we need to bend it. Now you can buy benders, um, but I've, I've never really used one. If you're doing a concourse job, then yes, you're gonna do a much better job. If you're doing just a quick repair, th this is ideal. Um, one thing you don't wanna do is be really cranking down on your pipe because what you'll do is if you just sort of bend it like that you can end up sort of kinking it around you know and um, so you need to do nice soft bends make sure your unions are where they need to be because once you put the bend in you won't get them back so you just line it up exactly the same as before um, when we was marking it out line it up at the end and then you just follow it around so just give it a little tweak you see here I'm I'm taking it in little passes see look see what I've done get out of there get back so yeah if you do cock up like I just did you can straighten out you'd be better off not cocking up in the first place. All right. So, yeah, take it in small increments, and then you'll get a nice curve all the way around, and you shouldn't get any kinking at all. Pretty much there with that one. Now I've just got the same with that one. You see what I've 
you know, just using it as a as a point. And there you go. You have your brake pipe. Now, again, like I said to you earlier, if you, you're better off going like longer rather than shorter. Now, the reason for that is if you've got a little bit longer, you can just take up the slack by making it a you know a more shallow radius you know putting a little bit more angle on it so then you know it's not a complete S then that will join in um, until you know you, you can always just put a slight extra shape in it if you need to until you know it joins up but if you make it too short what can happen is right so that's got to go into your pipe then you've got a brake pipe here. If you've made it too uh, brake pipe, a uh, bulkhead or something here, you're going to be touching. That is the worst thing in the world: is your brake pipes touching and rubbing on bodywork. So always make your brake pipes longer than than you actually need them. Okay. Right, as you can see, we're, we're on this machine now. Um, this one has all of the little bits attached to these wheels, and you can get uh, different wheels for different sizes, and they just clip on. Um, you can't really see it that well because it's worn out but um, you was explaining earlier about your option one and option two um, and then your different sizes um, all on there so all that does is go on there as I said to you as well this one's a little bit easier instead of having to measure in the mandrels themselves and like the clamp it's already it's already pre-measured so when I put it in now this is obviously the top half you just got to make sure that's flush so that would be flush across there and then that there is then perfectly set. So all you do is you put it in your machine, just like that. Clamp it in, make sure it goes the right way. And that tightens up. Just like that. And then you make sure you're on the right one, which is option one, three sixteenths of an inch. Goes in there, and then you just give it a crank, and then when you take it out, you got a perfect flare. Okay, you've uh, you've seen how we make the pipes. Um, the key things really to just keep an eye on are your length of your pipe. You really don't want your pipe to be too short because you can end up chasing. If you've got it a little bit longer, you can always lose it in a bend somewhere. Um, also, keep an eye on your flares. They have to be perfect. If in doubt, scrap your pipe. It's not worth hassle. Brake pipe's not expensive. The unions can be reused. Um, but the consequences of doing your brake pipe wrongly can be catastrophic. So just, just, don't, just don't even think twice. Just cut, cut the, your, your flare off, recover your unions, remake your pipe. Just, just don't mess around. Um, I haven't covered um, bleeding your brakes or making uh, custom pipes, say if you've, you've done a modification to your car, I want to cover that in more depth in, in different videos because it's, it's, you can end up with a video too long, I don't want that in a minute so we'll cover that in another video so keep an eye out for them um, I'm going to be doing some, I want to keep doing these how to videos, teach people how to do things properly um, if you have any suggestions drop it down in the comments section or drop me a message, you can find me on Facebook or on YouTube um, if, if you like this sort of thing, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Um, I think we're about done here. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.